I will derive the uh, rate law for the parallel first order reactions. In this reaction mechanism, there are two elementary steps. Both are first order reactions. The reactant A may be converted to B, it may be converted to C. Uh, therefore, the consumption rate of A is actually Kb times A plus Kc times A. And then this is equal to Kb plus Kc times A. This is actually uh, just a uh, simple first order catalytics. If you set K prime to be Kb plus Kc. How do we solve this? We just separate the two variables and then we integrate both, di both sides from time 0 to time t. We got something like this. Done. That's the concentration of A at any given time t. And you can even get the half life. The half life is ln2, the natural logarithm of 2, divided by k prime. All right, what about the uh, production rate for B to C? B is involved in only one elementary reaction. So we have expression here again. We're trying to separate the variables, but you have A, you have B, you have T. It looks uh, a little complicated. But we do know this A is a function of time. And then we are looking at only two variables. One is B, the other is time T. And then we just simply uh, separate the two variables. We have DB equals KB A naught e to the power of negative K prime T dt integrate both sides from time zero to time T. And again this T here is a dummy variable. Uh, I'm gonna just change this T to something different. I'm gonna change it to tau. Okay, and uh, we're going to just integrate this side and this side. So over here, it's just B, concentration of B at time T, minus the initial concentration of B, which is zero. So we can just erase this. Again, this is the concentration of B at time T. is equal to the integral of this. How do we integrate this? It's fairly simple. It's just the exponential function of k prime on the bottom. We have kb and a naught on the top. And we have e to the power of negative k prime tau. Tau is from 0 to t. We just plug in this tau equals t and tau equals 0. And uh, we will have uh, the final expression here. k prime on the bottom, kb times a naught. And uh, we plug in tau equals t. I'm sorry, I think I'm writing out of bond, so uh, I'll write it here. e to the power of negative k 
prime t and you plug in tau equals t and you plug in tau equals zero so that's minus one and uh, there's a negative sign here so we can swap this too so in the end we got uh, the expression for the concentration of b at any time t is equal to again i'm going to swap this too so it's going to be kb over k prime k prime is ka plus kb and times a naught times one minus this exponential function uh, how about the concentration of c uh, You'll see that these two reaction paths are similar to each other. So basically, you just replace B with C. Okay, C. Oh, I'm sorry about uh, this part. And KC plus KB. A naught. And E minus. 1 minus E to the power of negative K prime T. And again, this is K prime. K prime is Kb plus Kc. And uh, if you recall this, the concentration of A is simply just A naught e to the power of negative A prime D. And we can verify if we got the right result. We just sum it up. Hopefully we get A naught. I don't know, but uh, we're going to combine this two first. If we combine this two, if we Look at this part and this part, they are the same, and this part plus the double on the line at this part and this part. If you sum it up, you get one. So if you add the concentration of B and C, C equal to A naught times one minus E to the power of negative K prime T. And uh, then, a plus B plus C, basically you just need to add this guy, this B plus C, this guy just uh, A at time T. You include this one and this one, you sum it up, you get A naught. And that's good.